Hello, this is Uncle Jim, and this video is for Mark Thomas. Uh, that's Mark spelled with a C, M-A-R-C, Thomas. And he just put out a video, he got a new snub revolver, and uh, mentioned that he had a hard time seeing the front sight, you might have to paint it. So I thought I'd do this video on how to paint your front sight and how, how if you want it to last and not look ugly. And everyone's got their own ways of doing stuff, so I'm just throwing this out here. All right, so this is my uh, little LCR, and it's unloaded. And I believe this gun's about 10 years old now, and that paint has been on there for 10 years. You can see by the holsters I use that uh, it's in the pocket every day, okay? And uh, a couple tips on uh, making it look good and uh, making it last. Okay, so before you could buy sight paint and all that other stuff, uh, you can get uh, paint pens that are just like a magic marker. It's got paint in them. You just wipe them along there. However, it's not lacquer base. So what you use is fingernail polish, and I'm sure other people have too. Uh, but there's tricks to it, and the reason I like the fingernail polish is you can have some lacquer thinner on a Q-tip and clean up the sides and make it look really good. You know, you don't want to blob it on there. But the whole trick to this, to make it last, and I'll show you a close-up, is uh, depending on what color you want. If you want a bright color, I prefer orange. It really shows up in the trough really good. It's just like bam. But uh, what you need to do is put a coat of white, bright white fingernail polish down first. And that'll make the whatever color you're gonna put on the front pop. If you don't do it, it's gonna be muted. So you gotta do a layer of white and the whole time, you don't want it gobbly gook looking. You want it smooth, okay? And so you do a layer white. If it takes two to make it white, then two layers, okay? And that's the whole trick to making the color pop. And you can see this is a very bright color, and we're kind of in dim light. And then pick out the color you want. Now, here's the great thing. All the girls are wearing bright colors on their fingernails nowadays. And so you can get super, you want the super bright uh, fluorescent looking colors, okay? Otherwise, it'll just be muted. So bright orange, bright green, whatever, okay? Even if you like white, then you're done almost. But here's the trick to making it last forever. After it looks good, then you put two coats of clear fingernail polish on there. Okay, so you're using all fingernail polish. If you tried using clear over this, it would eat this. Okay, and that's the whole trick. White base, make it pop, whatever color you want, and a couple coats of clear. At the whole, the whole time, you don't want to ruin your serrations and make it all blobby and ugly looking. And the great thing is you can just dip a little, very lightly, almost dry, and if you get some over the sides, you can just hit it with a Q-tip. And the beauty is, if you screw up, you just wipe it off and do it all over again. So, um, there's my little tip for you. Um, take it or leave it. And then we'll do a close-up. Okay. And this has been on here for 10 years, in the pocket all the time. Alright, let's see if we can... Now, close up, it might look uglier than really is. And you can see it's not hanging over the sides. And then when you have it in the trough, it's like, bam. It is super, this is my favorite method right here. Uh, if you're painting sights. And you can see it has lasted. And I don't do the top there, I wipe that off. All right, I hope that helps you or others. And uh, until next time. Thanks for watching, and don't laugh at the holster. It works for me. And I carry it all the time in the pocket, side pocket, front pocket. It's always with me. It's a super lightweight, so it's my backup gun. It's always there. Until next time, thank you.